Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a how to highlight and contour routine for beginners. So I hope you guys enjoy this video and I'm going to get straight into it. So first up, I'm going to go in with a primer. In order to have a smooth, seamless contour, I feel like you have to have a really flawless base. Otherwise, the contour and highlight can look a bit muddy. So always, always, always remember to prime. Not to prime is a crime. I just literally couldn't imagine like not priming my face. I just feel like the foundation goes on so much smoother and more even. Even if you don't own a primer, use a moisturizer or something just so there's an extra layer in between your skin and foundation. I'm just gonna go in with a pore feeling primer. It is the Benefit Porefessional because I have heaps of lumps on the sides of my nose. It's so annoying and it only just happened like quite recently. I think I need like a facial or something to even out my skin. It feels so strange to have my eye makeup already done um, because obviously I do it the other way around. And I'm gonna go in with foundation. Today I'm gonna use the Maybelline Fit Me in the shade 220 because I'm fake tanned. So I just like to deposit some on my damp beauty blender. I literally could not live without a beauty blender. If you don't have an original beauty blender, you need to invest in one ASAP. I've tried all of the fake ones. I just feel like they're nowhere near as good as the real deal. So if you're looking to achieve a really flawless base, hands down, you need one of these in your life. I like quite a full coverage, so I probably like end up putting <laughs> around two layers on. By the way, this is like my favorite drugstore foundation. It's so good. It's the Maybelline Matte and Poreless. Sorry, I didn't actually show you guys. That's what the um, packaging looks like. And I'm just dabbing it on my face. Okay, so now that the base is done, I'm gonna go in with highlighting. So I'm gonna highlight my under eyes using the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in the shade Light. If you watch my videos, you would know this is like my holy grail concealer ever. So when it comes to highlighting, you wanna find a concealer shade at least one or one and a half shades lighter than your foundation. I'm just gonna go ahead and place this underneath my eyes. I tend to use quite a generous amount of this stuff just because I wanna cover absolutely everything underneath my eyes. Um, yeah, you just won't get the full effect if you only put a little bit. Then put the littlest bit on my chin Cupid's bow, a little bit on the forehead, and then straight down the bridge of the nose. So once that's all done, I'm gonna go ahead and blend it out. I think I'm gonna need a mirror for this bit. See, this is why I don't like doing my eyes first, because now I have to be really careful of my eyeshadow. Okay, so now that everything is blended in, you're gonna wanna set the concealer underneath the eyes straight away before it creases. So everyone always asks me, what is the point of baking? It is to prevent the concealer from creasing. So what you're gonna wanna do is find a translucent powder. The one I normally use is the Laura Mercier one, but I'm just gonna use my Face of Australia one, which is a lot more affordable. If you live in Australia, you can just get this from Priceline. I just put some in the lid. Put a generous amount on your beauty blender and really, really press the product underneath the eyes. You want to be able to see the bake underneath. So if you can't see it, then you're not putting um, on enough. I like to grab some and put it on the side of my nose just because my um, foundation cracks. And I'm gonna take the Australis Fresh and Flawless Face Powder, legit also my favorite. This is in the shade medium tan because I'm freshly fake tan. I'm gonna use that to set the rest of my face. When you're doing this, make sure you don't swipe because then that can cause the foundation to become patchy. So what you're gonna wanna do is dab again and really packing on the product. I personally love like a flawless full coverage base, but obviously if that's not your thing, then you can go definitely more light handed on the foundation and the powder, but I just want it all. So I'm going in full glam. I'm just going to wipe off that excess powder. 
So I quickly just jumped off camera and applied some lipstick because I couldn't stand seeing my pale lips any longer. So now we're going to go into contouring and bronzing up the face. So to bronze up my face, I like to use the Too Faced Sweethearts bronzer, the blue one that I always use in my videos. But ever since Michael did my makeup and he said that he loves the MAC Give Me Sun, I've been trying it out because I bought this ages ago and... I applied it and I was like, whoa, that looks so orange. I must have just been applying it wrong. But ever since he used it on me, I've tried using it again and I actually really love it. So I'm going to go in with the MAC Give Me Sun just on a big powder brush. This one is by Rebon. It is their powder 12. And just swirling my brush in, tapping off the excess. I'm just going to be applying that on my cheeks. Be careful when you're bronzing not to bronze underneath this sort of line. I'll go into that more in detail when we go to contour, but make sure you're bronzing above your cheekbone because then when you go into contouring, it'll all blend seamlessly. Then it just around my forehead. I've never really been a fan of cream contouring. I've tried it recently and I've found products that have worked, but... I would never just do it every time I do my makeup. For one, it takes 10 times longer than powder contour and I think I like the look of powder contour and highlight better. So I use the Benefit Hula Bronzer to contour. I think it's the perfect shade for literally every single skin tone. When I was doing Michael's makeup, I went to reach for this and he was like, oh, don't use that, it's so grey. But I don't know, I just don't really find it grey on myself and I use it on pretty much every client and I don't find the contour grey at all. Like it just looks so beautiful and seamless and I just love this product so much. I've gone through like five of them. Another thing I love about it is it comes with a brush to contour with. I don't have it in here today and I don't have another one to show you because the other day I left my freaking door open and Frankie came in and all of my makeup that was on the floor, I know it probably shouldn't have been on the floor, it legit ripped to absolute shreds and that brush was on the floor. Thankfully, it was only like the packaging that was mostly on the floor. So he didn't ruin too much makeup, otherwise I would have been <laughs> so pissed. So because I don't have the contouring brush that it came with, I'm just going to use this angled brush. It is the Spectrum A05. This brush came in the Mermaid kit. I'm not sure if you can buy them singly, but I love, love these brushes. Everyone always asks me if they're good and they're so good. Like they're not just pretty, they're actually really good. So as for contouring, I'm quite lucky because when I put my lips together like this, I can see where my cheekbones are. So obviously it gives me an easier guide to go ahead and accentuate those cheekbones. So for those of you that can't see your cheekbones naturally, then I have a little trick that I used to always do when I was just starting out. So what you're going to want to do is create an imaginary line from the top of your ear right to the side of your mouth. So that's where your cheekbone should be. So what I used to do is grab a business card and place it literally right here, just along the line where I just showed you. But because I don't have that, I'm just gonna use this mirror and I'm just going to line it up from the top of my ear down to the side of my mouth. And what you're gonna wanna do is literally just lightly use that and then when you take it away can you kind of see it's already made that contour for you but because it's going to look really harsh after you do that just take any other brush and use that to blend it all out so lining this up from there Whoa, look how sharp that line is. And then just blending that line out. So there shouldn't be any harsh lines. Then I just like to take some just on the same brush um, and just put it on the sides of my nose. I'm not a fan of nose contouring. I just feel like it looks so silly on me. So I'm just really lightly wiping that across the nose and then I'm just going to go and apply some around my forehead area. Then to snatch my jaw I'm going to grab some of that and place it all the way under. 
If you have a big double chin that you want to hide, make sure you put the majority of the product like literally underneath your chin because then that'll create a shadow and hide it. So what I like to do to clean up the area is just take some more translucent powder on the beauty blender, pack on the product, and then I'm just going to wipe this straight underneath the line that we made. So from the top of my ear all the way to the side of my mouth and bring it down all the way down your face should look something like this I know it looks crazy now but I promise after I wipe it off it's gonna look really really nice so while that's baking I'm gonna go ahead and highlight my face my favorite would have to be the Mary luminizer by the balm it's seriously incredible I pretty much wear it every single day it's amazing so the whole reason we highlight is to accentuate our cheekbones if you have textured skin on your cheekbone less is more so you're going to want to apply it literally just on the cheekbone area then i like to put the littlest bit above my brow bone because this will create like a more lifted kind of look underneath my brow bone then i like to put some on my finger and place it on the tip of my nose. This will just also make the nose appear a little bit more lifted. And then same on the other side, just placing that on the high point of my cheek. Then I like to put some on my Cupid's bow. Obviously I like to highlight the four lipstick, so um, I'm just gonna put a little bit of that on. Then I'm just going to brush off the excess powder. So that is how I contour and highlight my face. Let me know if you want to see more how-to type videos like this on my channel. Leave a comment with a request down below. Thanks so much for watching again and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.